What's up guys, I'm CrazyAc. Welcome to what may be the episode, which may be the final one, depending on whether I decide to do that secret hidden ending scenario or not. So, let's go ahead and get started. There's not much left to do. It's basically exactly the same as before, except there's one little difference. So this is probably gonna be a very short episode. Um, on the water. Use the water on the heart. Because logic. Because a piece of paper told me to at some point in a previous level, so therefore, correctness. All right, so I gotta go clear all four doors again, which is kind of interesting because I kind of figured, like, okay, I'll, I'll save that for later because I have a lot to say about this game. So that will actually pick up probably the majority of this episode is me actually talking about the game because I'm I'm assuming this ending is not going to be much uh, much longer. I don't think it's going to be like a real big explanation of the game or anything like that. So I'm anticipating that there will be lots of not doing that. If that makes any sense at all. Hello, painting that is scribbled over. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Possibly inappropriate joke considering they think they're talking about domestic abuse there. And then I just gotta wait in here. I don't know what this is supposed to represent. I mean, it's a square from like part of the earlier part of the game that was in one of her paintings, but why is it a thing? Why is it just one square? And I have to wait for it to stop. I don't get it. Anyway, so, instead of talking to you, I'm going to give you my brush. Yes. Here, have a brush. On me. Oh. Oh! Well, this changes many things. Can I go back into those? Can I go to the right? Or do I have to go back to the left? What? What does this mean? That just goes to nowhere? All right, that just goes to nowhere, so... I didn't read any further. All I know is I have to give her the brush, so I don't know what else I'm supposed to do, if anything. All right, let's go back this way. I can't. What do I do then? Oh, hang on. Hang on. I might have an idea. Hold up, because it's door to nowhere. Do I have any paint? I have white paint. Oh, I guess I don't use the brush. I use the paint, don't I? Paint the door white. It's all I got, so let's give it a try. Door is now white. The brush is now dirty. Uh, okay. This is like the same style as the door was in the previous ending. Ooh, a rainbow! Can I go in there? I can. I wonder what would have been to the left. I should have kept looking, actually. Interesting. That does actually explain some things. And that's the ending, huh? End Bevel's painting. So that's... The, the developer of this has never confirmed a true ending, but I do believe this is about as close to the true ending as you can get, so... And there we go, same credits as before. Okay, now it's time to talk about this game. So... Where do I start with this? That's the difficult part. So there were a lot of things in there that didn't make a lot of sense. There were a lot of undertones of her having a very depressing life, which made perfect sense. That, that's not one of the things that didn't make sense. Don't get me wrong here. Um, so it's the character of Bevel, I seem to actually have this, this life that was unsatisfying, depressing, um, didn't seem to have much of a connection with her... Uh, family, and that was indicated by the torn picture. I believe that was her father, mother, something like that. Um, so there was like no connection there. It's written, torn painting, right? But I just remember that almost all of the game took place inside her created world. So at the end, when you see these two together, you guys can't see my mouse. Um, when you see those two together, the one with the white hair is not actually Bevel. That is the Bevel that Bevel created. She created a version of herself inside these paintings, inside this world, which kind of was indicative of the fact that she wanted to escape the reality that she was in. And I do believe, like, a, like with that third door at the end, with a knock on the door, oh, enter the following, oh, this is the thing to get the extra scenario. And I, I have that on the walkthrough page, so I don't have to save it. Um, 
Anyway, I'm just gonna turn that down. So, okay. So, oh crap, where was I? All oh, right, uh, she, she probably lived in an abusive home um, or at least not in a very nice home. I'm assuming the banging on the door was probably indicative of her father. Um, but this leads me to the problem I have with the whole game. Nothing was explained. There are a lot of pieces scattered everywhere. So there was like the banging on the door. Uh, there was the person playing the piano that disappeared who I think was maybe her mother probably played the piano. Um, and she died probably the same, not in the same way, but like because it was represented by Bevel killing her in the painting with the scissors or shard. Um, she probably died somehow, maybe not a very nice death. And so there were no more p piano sounds, right? Um, so the paintings were kind of almost reliving her life, I think. But at the same time, like I said, nothing was ever really explained. It was all just hinted at here and there. And the other Bevel made sense, but it was kind of like, well, why is she opposite? What does she represent? And at the end, in that ending, we kind of did figure it out. But in addition to the game not really explaining anything, I felt like the other endings were truly unsatisfying. This one was even, like it made a little more sense, tied a little more together, but it still wasn't a satisfying ending. A satisfying ending should satisfy something inside you that has been there since the start of the game. When a game starts, it gives you something to yearn for at the end. It gives you some kind of conflict to resolve, some kind of character to develop, some kind of goal to reach. And when you get to a good ending, like a bad ending usually takes it away from you, but a good ending should give that to you in some fashion. Whether that's just giving it to you or making you work for it or hinting at the possibility of it in the future even, that's, that's what it should do so that it satisfies what you yearned for the entire game. This game didn't do that. I don't know what my goal was. I don't know what my issue was, except the fact that I didn't have a very happy home life and I was trying to escape it in the painting. So none of that stuff at the end actually meant anything with the exception of maybe giving the brush back to myself, giving the power back to the original character or the original the person that created this world. It's the only connection it had. So the ending was still really unsatisfying and that was not a fun thing. But anyway, the game itself played pretty well. I'd say it was way too ridiculously hard to get that ending. Like it took me an hour and six minutes to get to get set up for that ending. That was in the previous episode and this one was just a couple minutes, but I just, it was a lot of work that, that didn't make a lot of sense. Um, like just randomly finding lipstick and putting on a canvas. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. So there was no hint for that. There were a couple hints that were good. Like there was that one hint of the burning the door and there was a hint of putting the water on the heart. Those were good. Those were really good. They were kind of hidden-ish. Um, you had to actually look for them and you had to read notes and stuff to get them. And, I, and that's fine. But the other stuff just wasn't even hinted at. So I needed a walkthrough to do this. I don't think I could have done it without one. But anyway, if you guys want to try the game for yourself, there are uh, a lot more endings. I think there's about 12. And I might touch the ending scenario if you guys want me to. Let me know if you want me to touch that other scenario with the, that code that came up there. Um, but I think I've given all the thoughts I can on this game. To sum it up, I thought there wasn't a lot of connection between the real life of Bevel and the painting. There wasn't any goal or anything to develop, and the endings were unsatisfying as a result. Still, I enjoyed playing it. It was a neat experience. So there you go. So like I said, if you guys want to see that other scenario, just let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, that's all I got. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Old. I'm like 24. I'm gonna be going on 30 in like a couple of years here. Let's not. Let's not make it seem like we're old men. Thanks, man. Don't bother me. Hey, it's the the creator's logo. But I cannot get into the thing, so I cannot land in the thing. There's a joke that no one.